So let's take a look at the configurator software. And this is the software that goes on your PC, which we use to set up all the buttons. I've got to plug into um, the USB first. So I've just got a base here. You can see I've got the stick sitting there to the left, which I haven't plugged in yet. There's no reason for that. I just wanted to show that you can do them separately. So we choose the port. Press connect, and you can see it's connected to the, to the base now. And here we've got the list of every single input. And you can see as I push those pots, the variables are changing. So I'm just um, bringing up the Windows USB game controller to detect it here. And you can see already I've got this connected to the X and Y axes and the Windows is receiving that fine. And simple as this, you can change the axes. Oh, my bad, you have to actually click on that before it will start receiving inputs. And you can see instantly Windows is receiving that. And that's it, that's how easy it is to reconfigure it. Make any axes be whatever axes you want. I'll put those back where they were. And you can see now my joysticks back to being standard XY. So it's this easy to set up. When you're playing games, you can change things by alt tabbing out, playing around with this and going straight back into the game. All the changes will be instant. Now before we put the stick on, we just have to unplug the USB. Um, just because the stick has to reset before it'll read the new device. So I'll plug it back in. And I'll just close and reopen this. Probably in a later version, we'll have this automatically resetting. But for now, you just have to close the app and reopen it again. So it refreshes. And you can see now, both devices are there, there, the base and the stick. And you see when I press the stick option, now we're getting the list of inputs on the stick device. So I'll just change that button to a digital. And you can see now rather than getting the 0 to 1023 result, we're getting a 0 and 1. And I'll just assign that to button one and let's test if it works. And you can see, simple as that. Now that's assigned to button one. And this is great because I find a lot of the games that do take a joystick, they don't give you a lot of options when it comes to reconfiguring. So if the game doesn't give you the options, you can always come back here and do it here. And um, I'm just in the process now, but the next update will probably have it of letting this actually send mouse and keyboard commands as well. And just in case it's not clear, you can add the stick on here, but also there's another plug on the front, which will let you add, say, another device, which may be another base and stick. You can actually have up to a 255 devices connected to this at once. So through this one configurator, you'd have your joystick, throttle, button box, all defined as one unit. You could also have each device on its own USB cable connected separately. That's entirely up to you.